So, last class we are discussing about the frequency domain representation of LQ, LQR control systems. So, when you are discussing this one, last class you just recall that our basic Riccati equation, algebraic Riccati equation, which is referred to equation number 3 in our earlier lectures. And that algebraic Riccati equation, we added P s term and subtracted from this one. If you add and subtract, then this is a P s i minus P s a p. So, it is a cancelled that 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 one. Now, this is P a minus P a and this is minus that this is a you see this one s 1 minus P a. So, that that will be minus here here should be a transpose because our basic equation is a transpose here is a transpose agree then P b r inverse b transpose minus q because our Riccati equation is a transpose p plus p a minus p b r inverse b transpose minus q. So, both side I multiplied by minus it does not matter. So, you got it this one. So, now what we did it this one. So, this will be our transpose agree then pre multiplied at both pre multiplied and post multiplied by the factor this one and this should be a transpose agree both side I am pre multiplied by and post multiplied by this one. If I pre multiplied by B transpose minus S i minus A transpose whole inverse, then you have it is a, a transpose agree? and post multiplied by that one both sides. So, here also will be A transpose. So, after multiplying by both side by P transpose, we got it this expression. So, if you see this expression, P transpose this S i minus A transpose this S i minus N this and this is post multiplied by this. So, this this quantity and this quantity will be identity matrix. So, P b. So, here only the correction is there A transpose. Then it is a <coughs> this term you see S i minus A S i minus this if you push it in this in this side. So, this and this will be a, our A transpose, this as a, a transpose. So, this this will be identity matrix. So, B transpose P multiplied by S i minus A whole inverse B. So, B transpose P S i minus A whole inverse B. Then we have a this term, you see both side I am multiplying by the, this one. So, this term as it is pre multiplied by this, post multiplied by this. So, here will be a transpose is there and most my is this one. This is a left hand side and right hand side since we have multiplied by q pre multiplied by this one post multiplied by this one. So, this transpose is missing. So, this is that. Now, what we did it from equation 7 we have we know the our controller gain is nothing but a r inverse b transpose p agree. So, that if we pre multiplied by r so, k r is in B transpose P. So, in this equation, whenever we are getting B transpose P, we will replace by R k. If you replace by this one, the right hand side of this equation that B transpose S i minus this is transpose, this is transpose here, q S i minus this and right hand left hand side of this one P b, P b is replaced by what is called by k transpose R actually k transpose r transpose since r is a symmetric matrix. So, r transpose is equal to r. So, this will be a this one and for P b I am writing is k transpose r k transpose r then b transpose p I am replacing by r k. So, this is s i minus this. So, this will be a transpose that one agree. Okay? So, that because this is the transpose here. So, if you do this one then after that we proceed like this way. So, last class we have come up to this point, then we proceed like this way. So, see the left hand side what we can write it, this portion what we are writing next. So, the left hand side we can write B transpose, I am denoting by this one, this by phi s, phi s. 
that S i minus a whole inverse is phi s. Okay? So, then I can write it B transpose then phi minus s whole transpose. See this one, s is replaced by minus s. So, it will be a phi minus s then whole transpose in place of this is our phi s then if you take the whole transpose that will be s i minus a transpose then your k transpose r then k transpose r. The next term is r k as it is, you see r k as it is. So, this term I will replace by phi s. So, this will be r k as it is, then I am replacing this is phi s that means, s i minus a whole inverse is a phi s into b. So, this quantity and this quantity <coughs> is the left hand side here you see I have just written this part, this part, but this parts also left it in the right hand side. So, that I have just missed it here. So, I will write it this is B transpose then S i minus A transpose whole inverse then P B, P B is what? K transpose R, K transpose R that P B, this is the left hand side we have a this term plus this term and this term is replaced by this one replacing P B and this term is replacing by this one and this also there B transpose this as it is P B is now replaced by K transpose R. Then we have a R inverse, R inverse then B transpose P is a R K into this term, into this term. Okay. So, this is S i minus A whole inverse. So, now the third term is coming here, if you see it is a B transpose phi minus S transpose, then K transpose, then your K transpose K, K transpose R K, K transpose you see this is as it is this this identity matrix, this is the identity matrix. So, k transpose r k, k transpose r k plus into phi k, phi s agree plus. <coughs> so, this we have written it this then <coughs> So, that this plus this. So, this we can write it right to this. So, this we can if you factorize that that or that one you will get it plus r k from where it is coming r k. So, a transpose our basic equation a transpose b p b r inverse b transpose r inverse b transpose p plus that one e to plus q. So, I just both side I added r here and right hand side also I in the right hand side of the uh, equation 7 also I added r. So, this agree. So, huh, this adding the this is the 7 equation I add r here and r capital R is at both sides. So, it will not change the expression. So, I have written the left hand side is this one and right hand side is this plus r. So, this is our basic equation of the left hand side. So, this can be factorized like this way i plus k phi minus s b whole transpose r into i plus k phi s agree phi s into b k phi s minus phi s b whole transpose are this. So, this can be factorized like this way you just expand this one you will get it this one. So, if you just tell you briefly we have started from the Riccati equation algebraic Riccati equation then both side I have added that in the not that algebraic Riccati equation I added P s term 
and separated PS term. Then, then after that both side I multiplied by a this expression the pre multiplied by B transpose minus S i A transpose inverse and post multiplied by this. After multiplying and after multiplying both side pre multiply post multiply and plus r is added left hand side and right hand side. Then ultimately we got left hand side equation is this one and the right hand side of this one we got it that one, this one. Agree? So, now see this one from equation this I can write it left hand side i k phi s plus b whole transpose r plus i plus k phi s b. This is the left hand side is equal to right hand side. Right hand side what we got it? We got it b transpose phi minus s transpose q phi of s plus r. So, let us call this is equation number 8. Now, look at this one q is a q is a positive semi definite matrix q is positive semi definite and this quantity will be always positive non negative number for any value of frequency. Okay? So, I can write it this and this equation is called the whole equation this equation this equation is called the Kalman return difference equation or identity i den t t. So, this equation since q is greater than equal to 0 means positive definite this quantity for any frequency if you swift from 0 to infinity that quantity will be non negative number. So, I can write it this quantity is always greater than equal to than capital R. So, so this is the represent the algebraic from algebraic Riccati equation we got this express expression and algebraic Riccati equation we need it to solve the what is called gain 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 of the controller to get gain of the controller because we need the value of p and p is the solution of algebraic Riccati equation. So, after getting this one we will see we will now define the gain margin and phase margin of the LQR control systems. Okay? So, we can write it this, this, this one that equation 8 this equation 8 from equation 8 <coughs> using s is equal to in frequency domain s is equal to j omega in 8 we have now i plus k phi s is replaced by j omega. So, it is with j omega then b whole transpose agree? wherever the earlier expression 8 equation number 8 s is there s is replaced by j omega this into r plus i plus k phi j omega b this is equal to b transpose agree? is equal to b transpose phi minus j omega transpose k transpose then this equal to not k it is a q q then you have a this uh, phi j omega into b plus r. So, this is equation number 9 that you see the this equation I have written it here 
putting the value of s is equal to j omega in frequency domain. So, what is the Kalman return difference equation, different equation, differential equation. Okay. So, this just I place the s is equal to j omega. So, from 9 putting that reason that since q is the positive definite matrix, positive semi definite matrix for any value of frequency from 0 to infinity if you sweep that this this whole expression will be greater than equal to 0 when a non negative number because it is pre multiplied and post multiplied by a matrix with its transpose okay? if you consider this is a matrix of m m q m transpose and since i mean q is a positive definite matrix whole matrix after transformation it will be a positive definite positive semi definite matrix that means this is a non negative negative number so from 9 we can write it that i plus k phi j omega minus j omega b whole transpose r is equal phi k phi j omega b this bracket is greater than equal to r. So, let us call this is equation number 10 and this expression is valid for whether it is a multi input system or single input systems. This expression is valid for all cases. So, now consider this situation special case consider a special case. special case that r is equal to we consider r is a weightage in the input may input vector. So, this dimension is m cross m and this is a rho which is a, this quantity is any positive number this equal to i into m. So, we have considered r is diagonal matrix of each diagonal element is rho which is greater than 0. So, from this 10 now we can write it from 10 we can write it from 10 we can write it i plus k phi minus j omega b whole transpose into because r is replaced by rho i. Okay, rho is will be there and right hand side rho will be there it will be cancelled. So, it will be i k phi j omega b it will be actually rho into i r is replaced by rho into i. So, right hand side also rho into i. So, rho rho cancel. So, it will be a simply identity matrix of dimension m cross m. So, this equation we have observed of this one and if you see we have discussed earlier this quantity this quantity is nothing but a our loop gain if you recollect our previous formulation that what we last class we have discussed see this one it is nothing but a loop gain that this whole thing is nothing but a loop gain of the systems okay this g if you consider this g s this is h s g s h s is the loop gain. So, it is this thing is nothing but a k. So, k into a s i minus a inverse whole inverse which is I denoted phi of s into b is the loop gain of this one. So, if it is a phi s this will be nothing but the whole thing will be g l minus j omega l this whole quantity and its transpose. So, this will be a phi l j omega s is equal to replaced by j omega when it is a minus sign. So, this that means we have j l transpose into j l loop gain this is less greater than equal to identity matrix. So, this is nothing but a loop gain loop gain or loop transformations. So, we can write it now this i plus g l j omega minus whole transpose into i plus g l j omega is greater than equal to 
identity matrix. Okay. So, this is the expression we got it for, for LQR system in frequency domain we got it that 1 plus g s and then you take the conjugate transpose of this one multiply by this, this will be always greater than equal to 1. Let us call this equation is important equation is representation is very significant. We will see later than this equation number 11. So, <coughs> from <coughs> from 11 we can write it now from this one we can write let us call consider a special case means consider it is a single input single output system. Okay. This is a single input single output systems though output will not come into the picture in throughout this one it is a our single input system let us call that means our r is equal to 1 and in, in, in this case this dimension will be 1 cross 1. So, I can write it now 1 plus g l j omega whole transpose agree whole transpose into 1 plus g l j omega this is greater than equal to 1. Agree? Since this is a single input case, this is the ratio of two polynomials g l you will get it. Ultimately, if you take the absolute value of that one, what is the absolute value of this one and what is the absolute value of this one, both absolute value will be same. So, I can write it 1 plus g l j omega absolute value square is greater than equal to 1. Again, <coughs> if this quantity square is greater than equal to 1, that means absolute value of 1 plus g l j omega must be greater than equal to 1. Okay. So, this is the on ultimately you know the expression for g l loop trans functions and our loop trans function we can write it mod of 1 plus k s i or in frequency domain um, s that means j omega then a whole inverse b mod is greater than equal to 1 then what is the, is the representation of that one and it is nothing but a loop trans function of that is g l j omega. So, let us see is representation in polar plot form. So, I am just plot, plotting in this uh, real of real of g l j omega part and here is I am y coordinate is imaginary of g l j omega. I am plotting okay. and this is the our origin and this is the point which is minus 1 plus j 0 point. So, now I draw a circle of unit radius with a center is minus 1 comma j 0 then we have a this one and this radius is 1 I have drawn a cycle circle. Then what is this condition we are getting basically from LQR design problem we have to find out the controller law controller uh, controller gain k is r inverse v transpose p, p is the solution of Riccati equation algebraic Riccati equation. That Riccati equation we have manipulated ultimately we got a condition like this way. So, if it is a if we now plot it that what is called Nyquist plot of g l j omega let us call g l j omega any let us call this is some plot is there g omega this is minus. So, what is the distance from from this point to any point on the polar plot of g polar plot of g is nothing but a 1 plus this is minus 1. So, this is 1 and this distance this distance is mod of j omega what is called g 
g omega this. So, this distance plus this distance will be 1 plus g l j omega values. Agree? So, that that one. So, this is, is nothing but a 1 plus g l g j omega. Similarly, here that if you plot it that what is called our loop transformation Nyquist plot, it must not cross it will not cross that unit cycle and that unit circle is I am just represented by shaded. And this is the plot for g l j omega polar plot of g of j omega and any point on this curve that means, this indicates that as omega e is increasing it is approaching to the 0, because it is a what is called real transformation in the sense that it is a low pass plant of this one. So, this will approach to the 0 of this one as omega tends to 0 this one and you see what is this from here to here this quantity is 1 plus g l j omega mod of this one. This is mod of this one is less than that this is nothing but 1 plus g l this this is less than unit circle this condition. In order to satisfy this condition this curve then g l j omega that means, loop transformation of the system when we have used l q r controller that should not cross the what is called unit circle. In the other words, it will not enter to the shaded portions by any way okay? this one. So, look at this expression that our it, it does not cross the real axis this one. So, what is our it cross the it, what is our gain margin of this one? Our gain margin of this one is in infinity. You can what is the present gain is there from there you can this is the at present gain what is there? This is the locus of that one, agree? Okay? And this is the look uh, my um, polar plot of that loop transformation based on I repeat uh, that this uh, loop transformation is formed based on the LQR controller design, because k is involved in this one the loop transformation it will never cross the, the shaded region. So, our gain we can add from the present gain we can increase the gain up to infinity. So, you can say whatever the gain present gain is there we found out by solving the what is called LQR problem and what is the present gain we got it and that gain has a you can change the gain up to by a factor of infinity. That means, you can increase the gain up to infinity still the system will be stable one. Now, this is the present gain we can increase from the present gain what factor we can reduce it. So, that the system still maintain its stability. Now, you see this point if it is a 1 this point is minus 2 minus 2 comma j 0 this point this point agree? this point is minus 2 this one. So, this gain this gain whatever gain present gain is there agree? At the worst situation, it can it can that loop transformation can touch this one. So, we can reduce the gain by a factor of half, so that it will touch the minus 1 point. When you are increasing and decreasing the gain of the present gain of this one, phase angle will not change, will not alter anything. Only it will change its magnitude at a particular frequency, different frequency magnitude only will change. Suppose, this frequency at this frequency let us call this is um, frequency omega is equal to 4. This frequency what is the magnitude? This is the magnitude of this one. What is the angle associate of this one? This. So, what is the present gain is there? You increase the gain twice. So, its magnitude only increase by twice, but phase angle will be remain same. 
Okay. So, if some polar plot of loop transformation if it is touching here, but it is not entering here, it is just touching, it cannot enter because it is based on the LQR design problem, it cannot enter this one. Then after that, we can decrease the present gain by a factor half, so that this present uh, loop transformation Nyquist plot will just touch the minus 1 point, till then the system is stable. So, we can say that our gain margin, gain margin of the LQR design controller based control system, we can increase the gain up to infinity and decrease the gain at least that half. Okay. So, our gain margin you see from infinity to half, what is the present gain is there, let us call present gain, what uh, we got it the present gain of this system we got it let us call 5. So, you increase the, the gain 5 up to infinity by factor of infinity, by if you want to decrease the gain due to some reason the gain is decreasing, if you decrease the gain by a factor of this half, I am telling if the gain is reduced by a factor half, then I can give you guarantee the system will remain stable it will not unstable, but below this one has to further investigate, but this is the range of gain margin. So, I just write it this that one the gain just if you summarize the the, the gain from the from the present gain one can one increase the gain up to infinity one one can decrease the gain by a factor half. So, our gain margin is minus infinity to by half this one. So, so equation now you see this is our e equation number, what is the equation number? Anyway, so let us call this e equation number you give it 12. We have given up to up to 11 we have given. So, this equation number we have given is 12. So, from 12 from 12 one can see that uh, what is called this conclusion is made from equation number 12. So, before that we study the gain margin those I will just gain margin we have done it, phase margin we have to do it. Just how to study the stability of a control system based on Nyquist stability criteria that I will just briefly discuss here, so that it will be easy for you to understand this one. So, let us call we have a closed loop system like this way. So, our G s agree, our G s is this one and our H s is is a feedback path transformation is that one and this is our C s or Y s people are also writing Y s, this is our R s. So, our loop transformation is what? You see loop transformation is nothing but a from here to you just complete the loop and what is the transformation you get it? That is the loop H of s. So, if you see how to study the stability of this system by using what is called Nyquist stability criteria. The first thing is we have to see the what is the our Nyquist path. Our Nyquist path is the whole write up of the S plane, agree? whole write up of the S plane and this is our 
real S, this is our imaginary S. Okay? And if you have a any pole at the origin, then you bend this curve like this way, either left hand side, right hand side or left hand side bend it, so that it should not, it should not be value of the function, that trans function should not be infinite. Because you see one, if you s, s divided by s, s plus a numerator divided by s into s plus b, when s tends to 0, s is 0, this becomes a infinite, this one. So, this infinite, but uh, we just make it limit in this one, there is a small, this quantity is the epsilon e to the power of j theta, when we will just put limiting value and evaluate the function value along the Nyquist path and this is the Nyquist path, agree? this is the Nyquist path. Then omega is equal to 0, omega is equal to 0, omega is equal to we will just write epsilon theta of this one, very small value we just go on this one. So, you can write it omega plus, omega is equal to 0 plus, this is, this is the omega is equal to 0 minus. So, that arc is a epsilon e to the power j omega you going like this way and this is the omega is equal to infinity okay? and this is omega is equal to minus infinity. So, this is, is r e to the power of j theta and r is tends to infinity this one. So, we will find out the loop transformation Nyquist plot, loop transformation Nyquist plot while we move along this Nyquist path from 0 to omega, 0 to infinity, we sweep. Once you know from the Nyquist plot of loop transformation from 0 to infinity, then minus infinity 0 is the mirror image of that polar plot, we can do it this one. So, our Nyquist stability criteria says that, that let us call for the given system our Nyquist stability and Nyqu what is called polar plot of that one is like this way, just touching this one and this is the minus 1 j 0 point agree? and it cuts is here. And if you see this one with a unit circle, if you draw a circle of this one agree? and this is the gain cross over frequency, this is the gain cross over frequency omega g c and this is the phase copper cause crossover frequency, phase crossover frequency. So, our gain margin if it cuts here, then reciprocal of this distance will be the our gain margin. That means, we can increase the gain by a factor what is called reciprocal of that one. What is suppose this is A, we increase the gain by a factor 1 by A. Okay? So, it is a gain margin of this one and if you assume that no poles, open loop poles are right up of the S plane, then only we can say gain can be increased this one. So, in general is z is equal to that p plus n okay? and what is this the phase gain cost per frequency, we will get it what is called phase margin. This is the our magnitude of the polar plot and this is the phase angle. So, we can introduce additional phase this much before the system becomes unstable. So, we have a this criteria we have to check it. This is the you can say number of poles, number of poles, number of which poles open loop, open loop poles rather loop transformation, loop transformation poles, loop transformation poles okay? in the right up of the S plane, this is n and this n is the, this n is the number of, number of encirclement.
of the point of the critical point minus 1 j 0 number of n circle of the critical point by the polar plot of the loop transfunctions. I mean, suppose there is no poles in the right half of the S plane, right of the S plane, open loop transformation poles, there is no poles, that P is 0. Then n is n, if n does not n circle minus 1 point, then P is 0 and also 0, it does not n circle minus 1 point, is n circle 0. So, P 0, n 0, so Z is 0, Z 0 means it, the system, there is no closed loop poles in the right half of the S plane, that figure Z number figure, what we will get is Z is equal to let us call, the, we got it 0, that means no closed loop poles of the system lies in the right half of the S plane, that means system is stable. Suppose there may be system, open loop system is a unstable, so loop transformation is unstable one and we have seen there is a two poles are in the right half of the S plane of the loop transformation or open loop poles, the two poles on the right half of the. So, p value is 2. So, in order to become the system 2, that n must be 2. So, that that this if if the encirclement is clockwise, if if the polar plot encircles the minus 1 point in clockwise, then is sign will be considered as a positive. If it is enclosed the minus 1 point in anticlockwise, that its sign will be considered negative. That means, this if the polar plot encircles the minus 1 point clockwise direction twice, then we will write 2 plus 2. If it encircle the minus 1 point counterclockwise twice, then we will write it that 2 minus 2 sin is minus will be considered. So, in this way we can study the stability of the closed loop system, even this system is a non minimum phase system that means poles in the right half of the S planes, if it is there open loop poles that we can study the stability of this one. Now, so now we will see this one that uh, what is called phase margin. So, what is the gain margin? What you have seen if you design a controller based on the LQR controller, that controller has a gain margin up to infinity. Okay. And that what is the present gain is there of the LQR controller design, present gain is there, that gain you can reduce by a factor half. So, gain margin varies from infinity to half of factor. I am talking about the factor, the what is the present gain is there, that gain you can multiply it by a infinity, in a very large number of uh, that factor that means infinity or you can multiply that present gain of the LQR controller by a factor half before it becomes unstable. So, it is a very robust even though controller parameter change it guarantees the system is stable this one. So, let us see is phase margin. So, let us plot it this, this one. So, minus 1 j 0 this point. So, I am just plotting this, this. So, this is a 1, then this is I am just plotting real of g l j omega, this is imaginary of g l j omega. Okay. Then another circle I am drawing you to this one center of 1, I am drawing the center
this is also <coughs> no it is ok just once again I will draw it that that one phase margin So, this is a minus 1 j 0 and in this I am real of g l j omega in this and imaginary of g l j omega. Okay. I am just drawing a circle with the center this of 1. Okay. And this is with a center 0 with a radius 1, I am drawing another circle. This is also 1 and this is also 1, let us call agree 1. Now, this is is minus 2, this one is minus 2. Now, see according to the LQR design problem, we have shown it that if your the loop transformation plot is like this way, it will never enter to the region of that one, shaded region that is by condition we got it. Agree? So, it may touch it here, this thing this thing property it may touch it, but it will never enter to this one and it may touch this one. So, if we just add this point and add this point, you see this radius is a, though it is not done properly, but this radius is 1, this also radius is 1 agree? and if you just add with the draw a line from here to this is also 1, this is also 1 from this triangle if you see this is one because one with this center or with the origin is the center we have drawn a circle of radius 1. So, when the two circles are crossed this point let us call this is p 1 point and this is the p 2 point agree that p 1 point from this point to this point this because we have drawn a circle with a unit radius center is minus 1 j 0. So, this, this, this are all is same length. So, this value will be 60 degree. Similarly, this length, this length and this length 1, 1, 1. So, this will be a 60 degree. So, one can come to conclusion since this curve will not enter to this what is called the shaded region, it can touch because why it can touch? You see 1 plus k or 1 plus g l j omega mod will be greater than equal to 1, because it is when equal to 1 it will touch this, this is the condition this one. So, if it in, since it cannot enter to into this point with the present gain of the controller. So, maximum or at least the phase angle will be what 60, because it can touch it here this this curve can touch it here. Then what is this one? If it is this, then this is the phase angle of this one. Suppose it is this one, phase angle of this, 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 this one is that agree? and th this will be 60. That means, additional 60 degree phase can be introduced into the system when the controller is designed what is called based on LQR at least 60. It can you can introduce because you can introduce further more than 60 degree. So, our phase margin, phase margin is phase margin is greater than equal to 60. So, it will be a 60 and it will be more than 60, because it can touch only, it cannot enter in this one. If you can enter here, then it violates the our condition which we derive from the algebraic Riccati equation. And the algebraic Riccati equation is coming from the design of the controller, LQR controller. So, our phase margin will be 
greater than equal to 60, at least 60, it may be more than say it, it will be more than 60. So, this, this is the phase margin of this one. So, in your short, if you design the LQR controller, it ensures that our gain margin is infinity and half. That means, what does it mean? We have designed the controller k based on LQR and that gain can be increased by a factor, I say increased by a factor up to infinity. That means, gain whatever the gain is gain can go up to infinity and similarly, then system will remain stable and similarly, the gain can be reduced by a factor half. What is the present gain is there? Let us call present gain is 10. I can go reduce the gain up to 5. Up to 5, I can tell the system is stable. So, if there is a gain variation is there after designing the controller, then it is the system will be stable in this region. That means, it is a robust, more robust. And not only this, it also ensures that it is a good what is called phase margin also retained. That means, 60 degree is minimum, it may be more than 60 degree of this, so it will be more than 60. So, let us take the or just if I write it the since the Nyquist plot, since the Nyquist plot plot of an optimal regulator letter must avoid the unit the unit circle shaded region shaded region centered at at minus 1 j 0 So, our and our possible points, possible points are that we have shown it, our possible points are this one P 1 and the P 2. This is the two possible points are there, well points are, points are P 1 and P 2. And P 1, P 2, if you see the P 2 is 60 degree. So, 1 that means, it is coordinate is minus half minus j root 3 by 2 this and this coordinate is minus half plus j root 3 by 2 ok this. So, this is the our ultimate conclusion. If you recollect our earlier example, example let us see what is our gain margin and phase margin what we will achieve after use implementing through what is called LQR controller. If you recollect our earlier example uh, that is x, uh, x is equal to 0, 1, minus 2, 2 x then b is 0, 1 that is b and our performing index is half 0 to infinity x 1 square plus x 2 square plus twice u square of this d t and you have to put in proper what is called uh, expression format, then you apply the LQR controller that we have solved it earlier. You just recall the earlier example and our problem is to design a controller u is equal to minus x t, where x is the controller gain based on the LQR design technique. And we got the controller gain, if you recollect we got the controller gain 0.121 and 4.178 the controller gain if you realize then. And what is our loop transforms? Once we get the controller gain, how you got it? We have solved the Riccati equation, then we got it k is equal to r inverse b transpose p, p you know, b you know, r you know from this expression. So, once I know this one, I can find out g l j omega, g l j omega will be coming 
if you do this one k s i minus a s i minus a whole inverse b this is our what is called g l and put s is equal to j omega and if you put it this one g this g l j g l s i am getting it 0.121 plus 4.178 s divided by s square minus twice s plus 2. If you do this operation, you will get it that one. So, you know you plot the Nyquist plot of that one. If you do the Nyquist plot of this one, what you will get it? You will see this one. I am just, you know how to plot the Nyquist plot? You just put it, you see this figure Nyquist plot. This is the, in this axis real of g l j omega and in this axis the imaginary of g l j omega g l j omega plot it. Then it will see it will start from here as omega omega is equal to 0 it is here when omega is increasing this g l plot this is the g l j omega plot omega, this is the omega is equal to 0 plus and this is the origin 0 0 and this is the omega is equal to infinity, omega is equal to infinity plus this, you got it this one. Now, see this one, our two point minus two points is here, this one, it is outside this, it is not entering to this one, the Nyquist plot of that one, okay? is not entering to this one. Our, if you draw a circle pi with a minus 1, 1 circle of that one, you will not enter this one in minus 1 of that one. Okay? So, <coughs> you can find out it is the gain margin, gain margin is infinity, you see it will not cut here as, as you increase the gain of this one, it will be infinity the gain margin. From the present gain, if you decrease the gain by factor half, still then this will be a stable of this one. Okay. So, at least half, it may be less than half also, it will be stable this one. Then if you see the Bode plot of this one, Bode plot of G L J omega, this, this is the thing. And from the Bode plot of this one, the gain margin, the phase margin you see 60 degree, 60 point, you are getting the phase margin is 60.7 degree. And our, we, according to theorem, it is told at least 60 degree that phase margin, phase margin is uh, phase margin p m is 60 degree greater than or equal to 60 degree, we are getting 60.10 and the, our phase margin and gain margin is you see our gain margin is equal to minus 6.24 dB, minus 6.24 dB that you got, got it that one. Okay, that you can easily find out what is what factor is there you can reduce the present gain of the controller and it occurs at omega is equal to 14.1 1.43 rad per second okay. so this very very verified our what is called statement we made it in lqr control phase margin is greater than or equal to 60 and the gain margin is uh, gain is by infinity and by a factor of half also. We will stop it here today.